Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see a very important topic in Microsoft Excel VBA and this topic is about the variable usage. That is how can you create variable, what is a variable and what is the usage of the variables in Microsoft Excel. So first of all, let us understand that what is a variable. A variable, as the name suggests, is something that holds vary, uh, varied values or variable values. Now, suppose you have a container in which you can add any number of things. You add 10 apples to that container, then you take out one apple, then the value of that container changes. First of all, it was 10, then when you take out one apple, its value was 9. So variable is just like that particular container which can hold a number of values and um, you can just perform any kind of operations on those values and you can use the value of the variable to as many places as you want. So that is the basic usage of a variable. It is called variable because its value can change n number of times. That is as many times as you want, you can change the value of the variable. So uh, that's what is a variable. And if we talk about its usage, then variable is used. Uh, suppose you have a range of cells in which you want to provide a same value. Then uh, you need to just write the same thing again and again and again. But instead of that, you can actually provide the uh, value to a variable and you can use that variable for that particular purpose. So let's see it with the help of an example. For better understanding, we have our workbook macro created. We have a sheet called sheet name. And let's just go and create a new module so that you are able to understand it in a better way. Okay, so let's go to the insert tab and insert a new module. Let's rename it as variables. So that's the name of our module variables. Let's create a sub procedure also with the name as variables. So let's write the piece of code. Suppose what we need to do is uh, in E1, E3, E6, we have to write programming knowledge. So what you can do is put in the range function or uh, the cell is E1 dot value equals programming knowledge. That's what you need to write, right? knowledge okay then you can just copy this whole thing and paste it here and paste it here the next value we had was e3 and then we had e6 so that's how you can work with it that is you can just copy paste and in three places you have to write programming knowledge now if you just run this code we have got programming knowledge in these three cells that's we all know but now uh, we are asked to change its value like we need to split the words programming and knowledge so we just put a space we just put a space and we just put a space so that is we had three statements so we put it three spaces but what if we had 30,000 statements so in that case we need to put 30,000 spaces so that is a redundant work that we need to do which is obviously of no use and requires a lot of efforts. This is the place where variable comes. So you have to, uh, in this case, just copy up this value and you can just provide it to a variable. Say V is the name of the variable, put an equal sign. And within double quotes, you can just paste this value programming knowledge. Now, wherever you want to access this value, I want it in the cell, say H3, I want this value. So instead of writing the whole programming knowledge, what I do is I simply type V. Now, if I just try to run it, you can see uh, as soon as I run this line, then in H3, the value of V that was programming knowledge is now uh, written. Simply, you can just paste it as many times as you want. You can just copy this statement and you can paste it as many times as you want. And um, in the same places, like suppose I want an H7, now I want an H9. All this V, uh, the value of the V would be pasted. Now, if you just run this, then we have got the values at every place that we wanted. 
now if you are asked to perform any kind of change like you are asked to uh, like uh, do this that there should be no space between programming and knowledge it should be a single word so now you can just change the value of the variable v and wherever the value of variable v is used it would be changed automatically if you just run it then you can see at these three places the changes have reflected just by changing a single place changing at a single place that is changing at uh, where the value of v was present so this is very important when you are working with thousands of lines of code which is generally the length of the code when you are working in a company so you do not need to perform changes at n number of places you just need to perform the change at a single place and then all the operations would be done accordingly so that's the usage of the variables in uh, microsoft excel now there are there are certain operations also that can be performed on variables okay so that um, in this video uh, right now we discussed about the advantage of the variables now we would be seeing that um, uh what operations we can actually perform on the variables suppose we just write a particular function or uh, we write a particular piece of code that in range um, or f17 that's f17 cell what do i need to do its value needs to be changed to programming knowledge uh two times we need to write it two times then what we can do is simply write the letter v it holds the value of programming knowledge we can simply write letter v we can put an ampersand sign and again we can write v okay actually uh, this is the statement but we need to provide spaces like v and v like this okay so what would happen it would write the value of uh, v that is programming knowledge and then it would uh, using the ampersand operator it would uh, just uh, concatenate it with the second value of v if we just try to run it then you can see in the F seventeen. We have got programming knowledge and programming knowledge. That's how you can perform concatenation over the variable values, and this is very useful when we have uh, like two values. Suppose in V, um, let's just create two new variables. In A, we have something called YouTube. In the variable B, we have something called channel. and in the variable c we have something called as a space so this is what we have and in the uh, cell f13 we want to paste youtube space channel then in that case you can perform or uh, operations on these three variable values a b and c to change it into a sentence you can concatenate the values in that sense like f13 and you can just put a dot right value then what do you need to write is put an equal sign for is youtube that means a then you need to concatenate it with c that is a space then again you need to perform the concatenation operator with b that is youtube space channel now if you just try to run it then you can see youtube space channel is what we have got so that's another usage of a variable now there is one more thing if you want to uh, use this particular combination of values in multiple places then you can do that as well so how can you go with it you can just store this combination of values in another variable suppose you create a variable called d and in d you just store these things this is the whole value and you can just store it in d so instead of writing this thing uh every time you first you just need to write the uh, another variable that is d now d would be holding the value youtube space channel and you want to write it here you can simply write d and when you run this piece of code actually f13 is already holding this value so let's change it to say f16 and now if we just uh, run this value you can see youtube channel is present over here so that's the usage of the variables if you are trying to use uh, the variable for a string value you need to provide it in the double quote so you can just provide the value of the variables in the form of the variables and um, also if you want to create a new variable suppose e and that's holding a number suppose it's holding a number called as 1000 so what would happen is um, you can simply write this as well like you just use a range function to provide the cell d7 is the name of the cell where i want its value dot value equals e so that's how you can store numbers in variables as well if you just run this code then you can see 1000 is present in e 
so if you want to use a numerical value you need not provide a double quotes but if you want to use a string value you need to provide double quotes in the variable so that's how you can work with the variables and that's the usage of the variables and uh, that's all for the video i hope you all have learned something new and thanks for